Right now, this little guy here, he's known as the common wombat, right? And he's endemic to us. Hey, settle. He's endemic to Australia, right here along the south coast of New South Wales. Now, the funny thing about this little guy here is, if you can notice, he's got this, oh, like, he's got this robust, this robust, ah, settle. Hey, hey, relax, relax. He's got this robust body type on him. He's got these sharp claws that he uses to just dig. Now, this guy here, he's nature's excavator. He's absolutely gorgeous, aren't you, mate? He just wants to get a little bit of a nip on. This guy here's got some sharp teeth on him. Ah, uh ah, -uh, settle, settle, settle. You're all right. It's funny with this guy because what he'll do is he'll dig a burrow real, real deep, sometimes up to 30 metres in length. And not just one wombat, but a couple of wombats can live in there. Now, with this guy, ah, relax, mate, relax. With this guy, he's got a really bony plate just on his lower backside. And what he does is he actually uses this in his defence when he's in the burrow. So when there's an animal trying to intrude on his burrow like a feral dog or a fox, he'll actually stand guard and use it as a plough to stop anything from getting into the burrow. But the funny thing about this guy is, if you try to get over the top of him, he'll actually pin you up against the burrow, can actually suffocate you. Now the next experience I'm about to show you is exactly why you shouldn't go into a burrow. It's an experience which I wish I never got. Get out! Get out! <laughs> shit! 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 Oh shit! shit. <laughs> Get away! Get away! Get away! This thing, I can barely breathe in this hole. I can barely breathe. He won't let me get out. <sighs> Go. Move. 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 Ugh. <sighs>